Hello, I promised you a uh, a follow up vis uh, visit follow up video on the um, uh, Gibson SG that I had purchased from Sweetwater P90s, uh, and uh, I did a short reel on it, and then in my last video I talked about and I viewed with when it was delivered from Sweetwater. It came, and, and the action was just stupid. And so I had issues with it, uh, so I had to take it to get set up. Uh, there's a shop in Addison, Texas called the Tone Shop, and uh, they maybe have one location, maybe fixing to have two locations, and they sell guitars, amps, and pedals, and used stuff. And... Um, I've kind of, I haven't bought any equipment from them, but I've, I've, I've started using them a lot for setups and they're pretty reasonable. I think it's like 65 bucks uh, for a setup and they're fast about, you know, pretty fast in getting it done. I was using a, a, an independent guy and it just got ridiculous. It was taking four to six weeks to get us to get a setup, which is a joke. So I like them for that. And I took it in there and, uh, they reminded me if I had uh, bought this guitar from them, it would have been set up correctly uh, when I got it uh, instead of the way I, I got it from Sweetwater. But in all fairness, I did reach out to them one time about a guitar. And so when I was looking for the um, uh, Paul Reed Smith Blue Sky and they didn't have any and they said as soon as they come in, they're sold. And so I guess the reason to answer the question why I use Sweetwater is if I want a guitar, I order it and they have it and you're done. But I would truly like to support local small stores. Anyway, so here it is. It's been set up. I've been playing it uh, now for a while. And it, the action has been corrected and it plays really good. I think I told you before, um, the... The neck strikes me as, this strikes me as a, a modified C. So is this supposed to be like a 60s neck? Probably. Uh, it's got old school tuners on it. I think I mentioned it before. These guitars are just so freaking thin and they're light. Uh, so, and I think it's a mahogany body. Um, so I've, I've been playing it. The reason I wanted it is uh, I wanted it uh, to try out the P90s. I've discovered P90s are, are definitely um, have a muddier side to them and they're loud. <laughs> I can come up with interesting configurations of the, like putting it in the middle position and there's different configurations. I can do the volume and the tones and I get some unique sounds. I really like that. The one thing that's weird is like, here I'm gonna turn on, right? So, but if I turn the volume or the neck pickup down, it turns it all off. It's kind of wonky. Anyway, but I have the, these configurations are pretty cool. Like I say, uh, I just did a, a short reel on it when I first got it, and now I've had like uh, a week or so since I got it back, been playing it. Um, so I guess if I had to rate it, uh, <clears throat> I'd probably rate this uh, 
insofar of all the guitars I have, and and, and um, keep in mind, I have a bunch of guitars, but I'm not one, I don't buy custom shop stuff. The highest level guitar I probably have is, you know, um, they used to call it like Fender's Ultra, which they have a new name for, but it's the top of the line for Fender, but not custom shop. I have those kind of guitars. Uh, that the Paul Reed Smith Silver Bird. That's yeah. That's not. The, these are just stock guitars I had. So comparing it to all the stock guitars that I buy, I probably rate this like a seven point five. Uh, and um, but I, I reserve judgment on it because uh, it usually takes me about a year to to get the real feel of an instrument um but again i'm very intrigued with the different sounds i can get with different configurations here um so i guess time will tell uh should i've received a, a uh, <laughs> Should I have received a, a, a guitar from Sweetwater that wasn't set up? No, I should not have. And, um, I, you know, do I blame it? What do I blame that on? Because when you, when you get a guitar from Sweetwater, it's supposed to have all the, they do this checking and stuff. So obviously something didn't happen. Or should I just assume that in transit, in a case, Maybe it got real cold and threw the neck out. Maybe, but I've never had that with a guitar before. And I've bought a lot of guitars, so I don't know. Uh, generally speaking, I'm satisfied with uh, Sweetwater, but, and I was uh, satisfied with the price they gave me. I just wasn't satisfied with getting a guitar that I had to go then spend. I actually spent $75 because I didn't take a set of strings down. So it was $75 with a new set of tens on them. So. Anyway, uh, SG, Gibson SG, uh, 2023 model with P90s. So that's that, and uh, tomorrow's New Year's Eve, so I hope you have a great New Year's Eve, and I look forward to do, oh, like I said before, I'm gonna do some videos on the, uh, the recording project that we've worked on. I'm, you're gonna start to see some uh, videos uh, of like the first three songs we did music videos to them. And um, uh, it's a, it's a, when, when the EP is totally complete, this time I'll have 10 original songs on it. And we've got um, the ninth song is being uh, mixed and mastered right now. And we're about to start work on the 10th song and then we're gonna release it. And uh, there'll be some uh, uh, interviews with the guys that worked on it and stuff. And you should check it out. Uh, it's called, um, if you go to uh, uh, Spotify or Apple, <clears throat> just look up the band's uh, Strange Mix. <clears throat> the first EP we did was called is, uh, A Little Is More Than Enough. A Little Is More Than Enough. That's a line from Jimi Hendrix. And the second one is called Night Skies. And there are, right now, there's currently eight songs uh, from the new project. One needs to get finalized and the... Tenth one needs to be finished, and there you have it. So anyway, that's what I've been doing for most of 2023. So get some time, check that out. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great New Year's. Bye.